Well, let's take a closer look at what time-sensitive networking actually is and how the technology works. Time-sensitive networking is defined by 11 different IEEE standards, collectively known as IEEE 802.1. There's eight different levels which are used to define Ethernet. This is what's called the OSI model. TSN refers to layer two, which means it's right down at the data link layer, so it's one level above the actual physical media of the network itself. There's really two key concepts that define what time-sensitive networking is as far as automation is concerned. So the first concept relates to synchronization. Time-sensitive networking allows us to make sure that all devices on a network all have the same time. So basically, each device on the network knows what time it is, and they all are synchronized together so that traffic across the network flows in an organized way and everything is synchronized from one station to the next. That's done using something called a precision time protocol, which is derived from another IEEE standard. But the effect you get in the end is that you can control latency across the network in this way because there's no variation in time. So therefore, everything is synchronized together and everything is working together in a predictable way. The other key concept is real-time scheduling. We can actually prioritize traffic on the network by assigning different time slots and different priority levels to traffic on the network, depending on what kind of traffic it is. We can make some traffic more important than other types of traffic, and so we can control latency and jitter. In the end, what we get is a way to make traffic flow across the network in a very deterministic way and make sure that everything works exactly as it should do what we end up with is a way to make sure that we have a very predictable system behavior. TSN actually delivers a way to make normal standard Ethernet deterministic by itself without adding any additional protocol layers on top.